Hello everyone, welcome to Virtual Pool 4. Hope you're enjoying the recent videos. I am back with a flourish. Enjoying being back now. Does that go? Oh, it does. Now the problem here is you've got a kind of... That f uh, seven ball, a brown seven's like a planet. Whacked in the middle of the table. So we, we, we navigate that one. Now here I might just try and screw across the in off is a thing. That's all right. Um, so I'm hoping to play better than I did in the last video. Uh, incidentally, I, I've sort of post these in um, every three days. I put a video, but I sometimes do flourishes. Oh, that's going to go behind. Hit it. Go away with it. Lucky. Don't try this at home. Um, and my friend Ben, shout out to Ben, he asked me about the, uh, before I posted the semi-final and I was like, yeah, that's good game, played well, you already know what happened in the final, <laughs> it's not good, uh, but hopefully we can play well. We're playing David al Qaeda CO, I'm not going to show you who the proper CO is, obviously they're just renamed profiles of what's already in the game. Uh, I don't know why I've done that. That's better to break from the centre, I think. And also a shout out to uh, Robert Cobra, who who um, watches my videos and who I've coached in the past, and he's a he's a good bloke. Um, not very confident about his game, but he's actually a good player. Works hard on his game, and you don't want to mess with him because he's got I think he's got a few black belts. So if he ever asks me, I say he's the best player ever. Right, I just have to spin this in. I don't think I've come hard enough. You see, the problem was there, I had to give hit it soft enough to give the spin time to take. But by doing that, means I lost a bit of momentum. So here I'm going to try and quit behind the nine. Oh dear. Kind of got away with it, because I've covered the pot and angle with the brown seven. <laughs> And someone friendly is trying to read me. That is a, a number from London that is definitely, definitely, definitely a spam number. 100%. I get loads of them. What I do whenever I get one of those numbers is I, I sort of take a note of it. I'm going to write it down now. And I search for it on who called me. And then if it turns out that it's one of these like scam numbers I block it okay so this one just a case of you don't really have to even think about the position here just don't hit it too hard and make sure you get the pot and angle right you can't really go wrong where the five is same with this shot as long as you don't shoot with loads of right hand side as long as you just play it off the cushion you can guarantee to be on it so I'm not thinking specifically about areas like here, for example, just don't hit, and you see loads of people do this where they pot it, and then the, the white will just kind of come in here. Like, well, all you've got to do is play it with a bit of right, and just make sure it goes that way. And if you really want to be funky, just try and hit this cushion. And if you do that, and you don't absolutely smash it, you can't feel what to be on it. Well, for me, I'm just going to roll it at the middle of the table. I don't really care how far along that goes away, because even if it's on the cushion, I'm going to probably pot it, I say probably. And here, just play it with a, not any follow because you don't want to end up behind the nine or going off, of course. But you want the white to come just anywhere down here that's not behind the nine, really. So there's any number of ways you can play it. So you've just got to make sure you get a bit of movement on the on the white ball. Now, that looks very precise, but it's just in that zone. And then here, it's just screw back into the bottom, th bottom sort of half of the table, really. And again, as long as you're not bringing the... I mean, that's going towards the pocket, so that really wasn't great. And then you just avoid the inner jaw here. And it's game over. So you've just got to be thinking, like, how do you... Like, don't overthink it. That was a finch. If anybody wants to know what a finch is, it's something I came up with years ago. It's a shit break. Because that's who Finch's character in American Pie. Because I'm very old. That film now looks very dated. That was 1999. Which was when I was 18. So it felt 
real. <laughs> Let's say the story was. You know, lasses love VP4. I'm ever struggling talking to a girl, I just, you know, bring out the channel. Job done, he says. I'm lying, obviously. T1, can't. First to 10 this is, obviously. I'm sure you guys knew that already. Uh, oh, I thought it was going to knock that nine in. And that's gone very nasty. Uh, and it's also taken away the, the jump pot. So I've either got to jump it thin to hit the seven in on that way, or go full on for the hole that way. Very good chance I go in off as well. And very little chance I'm on the two. In fact, let's push out. And I'm going to play the... Oh, where do I go at this stage? Whoops. Oh, it's now knocked it. One moment, I've broken. Sometimes that happens when you click it and then it won't let you go overhead. Back in a tick. And with the glorious power of editing, I can now do that. Well, if that ever happens and it's bust, you just got to restart the game. It doesn't break it. I don't know why, what causes it, but obviously me, me doing that did. Oh, and I thought that was... Was that going in? Let's have a look. See where the yellow was going. Well, as you can see, that was straight in the pocket. Blast. Never mind. <clears throat> as you can see by David's rating, this computer opponent. I was just about to say he's very good, but then he's pulled out a real error. What I like about this game, and I was talking to my friend Ben about this, um, is that we play a lot of Madden. I quite like Madden. Let me know if you want me to do a video on Madden. Uh, oh, blast. Um, concentrate, for God's sake. And uh, if you play on all Madden, it's such a high standard that the computer always does well. Like, it never plays bad. But what's written into this game, and I've come to realise this, which is why I've changed my tune on moaning and groaning, when the computer plays really well, is there's kind of a sliding scale of ability. So sometimes a good player will just play bad. And make lots of mistakes and if, if you look at the, the video where I played in the semi-final of the World Masters good shot you get an example of that where it just makes loads of mistakes now win on other occasions it batters you and if you haven't seen the final <laughs> go and see the final um, but I like the fact that you get a variation in in what the outcome can be and I think other games could could learn from that I imagine it's just a differential on how often the ratings or the range of ratings so the deviation between how that plays out so there's a range um, and they'd certainly do that really really well this may be an example of when it's playing particularly strongly but I, I, I do I do like that even though it's frustrating when you're on the end of like Superman or Superwoman super anything also I wanted to comment on while well, the computer destroys me again uh, got some great comments on feedback about what I should be doing with channel uh, interesting a few people want different things than just good god invincible I'll be more worried if it pots the red because that means it's really going crazy I mean that's a, no, I mean there's been I've seen worse shots I'm going to try and get behind the purple here let's try and nick this I need to nick it with a bit of right I, I quite often miss this completely right. that feels right no, I've gone behind I would have gone behind the six but it's a containing shot. Computer knocks this in. You just got to say too good. Oh my goodness! Not even touching the sides for goodness' sake. Really unlucky, actually. What's happened with the four there? Well, it just shows you the computer is playing really well because it's knocking stuff like that in. You've got a problem, which is when you've got to start knocking stuff like this in, and when you're not, you've got a problem. Oh, that's oof, got away with that one a bit. It was always losing the white to a degree because it was such a thin a thin cut. Um, but yeah, interesting just going back to what I said about um, potential other videos. I may do that, but I'm going to make sure that I always do one video every three days, hopefully, on, on pools. So you're not getting, you're not missing out. But I might do other stuff. I might trial it. It tends not to do so well. Uh, people like VP4, but, you know, we'll see. I do have other channels, which I'll let you know what they are down the line when I start them but it's uh you know we'll see how, how things go goodbye nine ball very easy easiest way to win 
on the nine goes did that just go straight in without even being hit yeah just straight in thank you very much we'll just have that every time please it's on the move again there's no friends unless the five goes in but look at the one so everything else is fine the one is probably not going to get to go behind the seven and we'll have to hit the one hard enough to get past the middle bag otherwise not getting behind the seven means nothing and of course i've messed that right up trying to get behind the seven it wasn't even on like don't take shots on that just aren't on if i lose this rack it's just because i convinced myself a shot was on when it wasn't so bad God damn. Yeah, computer's playing too well for me to take stupid shots on like that. What a dipstick. Yes. Deserved. 4-4, four, four, so we're close. I do like these competitive games. Two's in. Oh, look at that. The only shot that's hard is the 7 to the 8. He's almost guaranteed a tough shot down the rail. And it's one of those shots where it's going to help me judge what state the computer's in because if this just goes in without any problems, comp's playing really, really well. That's a lovely shot. Oh no. Yeah, he's playing well. Or is he? That happens a lot. Pivotal, potentially. For in the next four racks, it is anyway. <laughs> oh, look at this. One, two, three, four combo. Nightmare. There's nothing worse when you do that in a real match as well. I mean, I haven't played a real match for years, but there is nothing worse when you nail that and you just think, they're going to get these. And they do. And then you think, I should have had those. Or you do get in and you miss. I mean, either way, it's horrible. Ah. <sighs> There is a chance that this, <coughs> this nine wobbles. Hard shot. You can't play it full ball. Now here, I'm just going to make sure that the four goes straight down the cushion. Leg set. And we get A for the first time. And seven's close? No. Irritating. That would have been a half a chance. Oh man. Oh, the side spin killed him. Double still on. This is news. Let's find out what the news is. Totally relevant to you guys. Oh no, he's stupid. I oh, know I'm stupid. I thought I thought he'd missed. I wasn't watching. Right, I'm going to click live. Who called me? You ready? Now I mentioned that. Let's find out who called me. Yep, who called me? Who called me? We care about your privacy. Thank you. Glad to hear it. I hate cookies. Or computer cookies. Search for 2,516 times. I mean, that's all you need to know. If that comes up, it's a scam. Call, no mention of why, spam avoided, receives this call, spam, spam, spam. Says it's Labour Party. Labour Party fundraising. Claim to be Labour Party. Ah, might be there. And I am a Labour member, so um, I'm still going to block this caller because I, I, I don't want to give it any, any money. Um, sorry, but I, I already do give a little bit. If anyone's interested, I do have a politics podcast, um, but it's... You see, you can't jump this, but I've got to be. I've got to hit it because if I don't, the four nine is is right there. Oh, that's so unlucky. Oh, he's good. Look at the clip of this. Uh, right. Thank you. Six five. So yeah, I mean, I hit it. Ran bad. He's ran bad, but he's. Uh, so we push out, where do I go now? I think I've got to go up by the, I'll tell you where I'm aiming for, here. Because when I, if I leave the white there, then that takes the pot away to here, the pot away to there. The safety's tricky and there's no plant. So that feels like a good push. So the way to get there is 
off the top cushion with a little bit of right. I just want to I want to end up on that line if I can. Pay it too hard. Ooh, I've overcooked that by a long way. Left an easy safety, sadly. But he's actually stuck it up. I could claim genius here and pretend that I meant that, but I didn't. Oh, I didn't want to hit the freaking eight ball. So yeah, here, just very thin, straight back up the table. A little bit of right helps it on its way. Should hopefully be snookered. At the very least, awkward. Shouldn't have left a gap, which I have. Yep, got what I deserve there. Got to hit this because otherwise it's... Yeah, that's all right. There's a cut on both sides. I imagine he goes to the side he's going to, and I'm not just saying that. That was the easier side. Um, because it's close to the pocket, so that makes sense. Now I've let him in, which is irritating. But he's missed, which is less irritating. Stop. So here I'm going to try and power it in, go across the other side of the table. I'm not putting any back on it, otherwise it goes towards the pocket. Kind of overcooked it, which is not good. Here I'm going to try and go around the world with a bit of side. Now this is advanced. I've probably gone behind the six here. Uh, come on, pop out. Yeah, a little bit lucky, a little bit lucky. Keep it simple, I'm just not going to move the white very much. And then roll this in, because I'm right on the eight. So I'd already looked at that, just pretty much instinctively just roll this in and then sort of screw back. I know position is terrible, but there's no problem with the down the cush shots on this game. It's killed my real life game for, for doing this. I tend to go too thick and miss. So, 7-5. We hear the nice noise of a ball going down. Maybe two, no one. Uh, again, same shot. I'm hoping not to be impeded by the orange when it pops around. Oh God, I called it. I just knew that was in play. Rats. Right, luckily, I'm, I can get out of this just by tapping the, the, the jump cue. Yeah, it's fine. And I always had the, the three easy. Didn't really think too much about position there. Um, Got to be careful here. I don't go behind the nine. We're hitting it's fine. Oh, that would have been harsh if it came back. And I'm too straight here, so we'll have to power it in. That was a good shot. Now he is a bit awkward because I'm going to hit the nine. I think I'm just going to try and hit the nine and then keep going. Well, that's nowhere near what I expected. I was trying to power up the side cushion, so don't have to worry about position so much. Just got to take out the in off off the table and just make sure I pop the eight ball. Yes, and then we're okay. 8-5, so that means the computer's got to beat me 5-1 in effect, which is very, very doable. I'm not saying it's like, I, there's no way I feel like I've won here. Oh, crikey, it's, oh, look at the five. If that's what the computer played, then hats off to it, but I don't know. So this pretty much has to be a screw back just anywhere closer to the eight works oh except for right behind the nine that is devastating that could be the game 
That could be the game. It's a random mistake. Now you still got to do well here. The thing to do is put a tiny bit of right on it and just check it and just miss, you know. Then you're on it, basically. Well, that's changed the game completely. Now it's a sense of one and out. Oh, and that clip off the seven has hurt me. And then the eight, just to finish me off completely, has blocked, I think, the route to the side of the ball. I want to take this on. See, I would have felt really silly if it hit... Uh, if it had hit the, the shop, I've got the snooker, but I had a lot of balls to hide behind there. And that's a foul. Don't even need to move the white, really. Just play from where it is. Just don't go behind the nine ball here. It's amazing how much I can tell when it's instantly there. I never do a great job of avoiding the obvious either, which is uh, frustrating. Uh, screw back into the eight. Not enough power to come back. Well, now here's a bit of a choice. Do you go for the combo? I think I've got to go for the cut, but then the eight's in play when I put right hand side on it. So I think just hit it quite hard and vouch for going up and down. I don't know where I'm going to end up here. In the end, it's not horrible. Probably have to go middle bag. Again, I'm losing the white ball. Oh, missed the angle completely. Good position, but yeah, not good. Nine, six. Now this shot's tough. Six to seven's really hard as well. Good shot, needs a clip. Oh, he just about got away with that. Hmm. So, biggest shot of the rack, potentially the match here. He's left a combo. Got it. Mm. Oh, nine's on sway again. No friends. Did it bad there. I was trying to get past the trying to get past that one. And there's no route to the three either, which is just gotta hope I don't leave it. Oh, I've left it. Man. He's cut that out. Oh, I thought that was a way. That was a wide one. How lucky is this? This could go anywhere. This is not. Wow, what a shot. Hmm. Pressure. So I need to go towards the green ball. And we'll try and aim for the green here. Round the world to hit the nine. Oh. 
all the, all the six. Spin off the back cushion. Barely took. That was terrible. The top cush. So we'll come off here with just a check of right hand side to check the angle. Well, we get through, I don't know how, a uh, bit of a fun one, fun game. Always very close in this uh, career, which is always nice. And yeah, survived a bit of a gross comeback. <laughs> And then we play Jim Rempe next, who beat Fedor Ghost. That is insane. That is a mad result. That really is a crazy result. Because that's like that CO is just way stronger than the Jim Rempe CO. Uh, so yeah, that'll be our next match. So we'll we'll see you back in a few days' time for that. Um it is a double limb, so if we go out we get to have the shorter races, but hopefully we can keep it up. We then play the one with Niels or Jimmy. Now I know Jimmy's not a great CO in this game. Niels is quite strong. I expect Niels to win that one. Um, and I think that was who I had got a kick it off in the final. So it'd be nice to take some revenge. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you on the next video.